Hi, challengers, 16 week challengers. Again, you know, it's, I know it's called a challenge group. I think everybody's familiar with that kind of terminology, but it's really more of like a support group and to kind of work on things together and have everybody, you know, kind of do specific nutritional changes in a group so that you guys can support each other, ask questions, all that stuff. So anyway, that was a little sidetrack from what I was going to talk about, which is weightlifting. <laughs> one, of the, um, one of the benefits of weightlifting and important benefits for women for weightlifting and how often you can be doing this, how to do it, that type of a thing. So when we talk about working out, there's so many women, there's so many um, ladies who are afraid to lift weights of any kind because they're afraid I'm going to get beefy, I'm going to get bulky, it's, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, um, I don't know what exercises to do or how often to do them or, or anything, right? So we're going to start to slowly introduce this and I'm going to start to, I'm going to post a video right after this of doing an outdoor workout. So right now I live in the mountains of Vermont, so I don't have a gym near me. Um, so I lift with rocks. Yes. So I'm building muscle and I'm lifting rocks. And so I'll show you some of my rock workouts. So you literally, like you don't need anything. You need a space in your yard and you need something heavy. <laughs> and that stuff is available wherever. So um, what that does, so important key things about weightlifting that I'm going to talk about. And we're going to go, it's kind of start from the beginning. And just as you're getting started with this, let's say, um, we're going to start with one set of things. So that means going through these exercises one time, but you're going to do them to burn out. What that means is that you're going to do it till you almost can't anymore. Like pretty much if you're going to be squatting, you're going to squat and squat and squat holding onto this rock or something heavy or whatever. And you're going to do it until your legs are shaking and burning and you can't like you can go down, but maybe you can get up again. And oh my gosh. And that was it. And you just have to drop it and like and then take like a quick 20 second break before you do your next thing. That's to burn out. The purpose of that is that it helps to break down some of your muscle fibers. It activates them differently, breaks them down so that your body can rebuild it afterwards. That's how you strengthen and everything else. That does not mean you're going to get bulky at all. That's just pure strength building. So doing one set of that and going through these exercises is going to make a big, big difference for you. So that's where I say to start, just one set to burn out on these exercises and minimum doing these types of things at least once a week, preferably twice a week. Again, this is not, it's not big. It's not a, you know, huge thing, you know, and it doesn't have to take a really long time. Physiological effects on the body besides the muscle breakdown and everything else is that one, it's really important for women to have axial weight compression more than just your body weight. So that's why adding some type of weight, even if it's only 10 pounds, you know, adding some type of weight is important for building your skeletal structure and for building bone mass. Your bones um, actually respond to pressure. So you have to have some type of pressure added weight to it. And you get that by lifting heavier things to have the bone strength there. That's why women are so prone to osteoporosis and osteopenia, things like that. You can prevent that by doing some weightlifting. And again, body weight is not necessarily enough because you need to add some pressure to your skeletal system. So add some weight, even if it's only five or 10 pounds, especially when you're starting, that's, you know, important to do. So that's just for your overall bone health as your body ages. Yay. Um, second thing about that overall in terms of health and metabolism, your body burns more calories and burns more fat while you're weightlifting and afterwards. If you're doing cardio, great. Um, we'll talk about interval training and stuff more as well, but, uh, and other types of cardio that are more beneficial than others. But if you're doing cardio, that's super duper, but you're only kind of getting your metabolism worked on or you're burning things while you're working out during cardio, during weightlifting or doing some type of weightlifting, you're getting that burn while you're working out. And for hours afterwards, your metabolism is severely increased. So that's another added benefit to your health journey to doing these weights. Um, so, so just, that's just a couple of things to start off with. We're going to start focusing on doing one rep of everything, one set of everything all the way through and just doing every exercise to burn out. And you're going to be sore <laughs> if you haven't done, you know, weights or if it's been a long time or anything like that, you're going to be sore. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, that your body will recover from really, really well, especially from increasing your protein. When your protein numbers are on point there, whew, you're going to kick back and recover really, really quickly from that. And you'll notice your strength building and you'll be able to do more and more and more as we go along. So again, I'll do another video in another week or so talking about kind of the next phase of this. But for right now, 
focus on finding some type of weightlifting. My, my, my eight-year-old just got in a, we got a big shop vac, and now she's in the shop vac box. Kiddo, you're going to tip over. Let me see if I can turn and see what she's doing. She's just in the, in the box there. Of course, the screen door that they ripped apart. Yeah, because they're kids, and they do that. They don't, they don't open the screen door. They just go through it. So anyway, um, yeah, for, so for this week, one, one set of everything all the way through to burnout, and then next week we're going to expand on that. So I'm going to upload some of these videos to do. If you get a chance to do the work, one of the workouts, great. That's sort of like baseline to start. Yes, it's okay to be sore. <laughs> yes, your body will recover and increase your protein. You're going to want to have protein within 30 minutes of finishing a workout. You know, the, the closer you get to the end of the workout, the better. But you're going to want to have protein, at least 25 to 30 grams of protein right after that workout. And, of course, water and everything, too. But that's going to also help rebuild that muscle faster. Again, we're not getting bulky. We're just toning up a lot better. So, anyway, hopefully this has been helpful. If you guys have questions, comment below. I would love to answer questions on this. But I'm going to post now a video of a very simple um, interval workout that has some increased weights with it. This is just a start. So there'll be another one in a couple of days that's a little bit more intense. Um, but it's a tough workout. You'll, you'll like it. And you're going to be adding, you know, a lot to your, your workouts. Yay!